Welcome back to the solution for the question for March 25th, as well as the introduction of the question for March 26th. So yesterday's question, we learned a one thing, we learned that Evie loves comic books. Uh, in fact, she loves them so much that she is a trader of comic books and she is willing to buy and sell so that she is stays up to date on all the titles. So we said yesterday that we started with she had half of her comic books that she sold and we said that that means that she subtracted half of her comic books and then bought 16 of them. But we added and then 16 being, now she has 36. So we're looking for how many she began with. So I'm going to use C as our variable because C for comic books. So if she sells half of her comic books, you can do this a couple of ways. So. We have one half C. Ooh, that's a bad looking C. I'll try this again. One half C plus 16 equals what? Yeah, 36. So one half of all the comic books that she started out with, if you add 16 to that number, you're going to get 36. So going to Start here by subtracting 16 from both sides. 36 minus 16 gives us 20. And then 16 minus 16 is zero. One half of the, of the comic books that we have is equal to 20. Now, remember, uh, a couple of days ago, we had an equation where we had a number being multiplied by a fraction. Now remember, this is really, this is one half times C. Uh, in order to get rid of that, there's a couple things you can do. You can either divide by one half, but we remember from back in fourth and fifth grade that when you divide by, when you're dividing by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal or if we take those numbers and flip the order, we flip the order of the numerator and the denominator. So multiplying by that is really the same as multiplying by two over one or multiplying by two. I'll put that over one just so we see it. So two times one half cancels out, leaving us with, I'm gonna do this one in black. So I have C equals, and then What's 20 times 2? Well, 2 times 2 is 4. And I put a 0 on the end. 40. So 1 half of 40 plus 16 equals 36. And if we do that in reverse, 40 divided by 2, or 40 times 1 half gives me 20 plus 16, which gives me 36. So Evie started out with 40 comic books, but then after buying and selling, she has 36. Great job. So. Our last question for this week, I'm going to clear the drawings and get that. So last question for this week. For a field trip, four students rode in cars and the rest filled nine buses. How many students were in each bus if 472 students were on the trip? I want you to use those skills that we've been practicing these last two weeks to answer this question. How many students were on each bus? Okay. For a field trip, four students rode in cars and the rest filled nine buses. And we're going to assume that they filled those buses equally. We're not gonna say that one was like a smaller bus, a medium bus. It's all, all the buses have the same amount of seats, same amount of students. All right, good luck. I look forward to seeing your answers. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. And.